When Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel and camped tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came upon him, and he gave his voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of a man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. All of these words from today's first reading from the book of Numbers uh, are, are, for lack of a better word, are funny to me. Uh, because they can't help but invoke the image of today's saint, uh, the Memorial of St. Lucy that we celebrate. The reason I say this is because much of the, the story of St. Lucy is unknown. There are plenty of legends, but she's one of the, the ancient saints who, beyond the fact that she was a, obviously a martyr, the, the story of her life and the leading up to her murder is the stuff of legend. And yet, her depiction, because of the content of those legends, is one of the more colorful depictions of the saints that we have in art. She's often depicted holding a platter with her eyes on them. Uh, this is you know, one of those things that, in any other setting, is very graphic uh, and, and somewhat morbid, and yet is a testament to the great faithfulness of St. Lucy, who we could say, in the words of these first readings, saw with the eyes of God and that she had sworn her virginity to God, like so many of the early women martyrs uh, that swore themselves to Christ, refused to be wed, uh, and met their end at the hands of jealous suitors, uh, who, when they realized couldn't have them, used their power authority to have them put to death, or at least to great suffering. St. Lucy was one of, of many of these, uh, who met a very gruesome end uh, at the hand of, of a jealous suitor, someone who was spor uh, uh, spurned by her uh, in his attempt to marry her. And so St. Lucy, as uh, the legend had it, uh, had her eyes plucked out, uh, although another account says she plucked them out herself in order to make herself less attractive uh, to, to, to be a suitor. But regardless, the, the true thing, legends aside, as that she gave her life out of faithfulness for God. All the threats of the world, the threats to, to have her thrown into a brothel, uh, the attempt to burn her that didn't work until she finally was, uh, was slain by the sword. But St. Lucy was undeterred um, by threats of this world, by the temptations, everything in it. Her heart was undivided for God, which is ultimately the heart of what this day is about and the great devotion to St. Lucy. And so... Today, may we pray that all of us may have sight, may have eyes, spiritual sight unclouded by sin, by the allures and temptations of this world, but that we may indeed see with the sight of God, to see to things eternal, to things which are true, beautiful, and good, and never settle for anything less. St. Lucy, pray for us.